finish off, um, it's important that we have a good physical hygiene, physical routine that is good for a healthy body and a healthy mind. So for, if we take care of our body, we should exercise every day, right? We have a good diet every day. We have a good, you know, we take good care of our, uh, of the food and the, the, the fluids that we take in. And we have a shower every day. And we should also take some rest, take some break every day, have some sleep. The, the mental routine is also important. And that's something we often overlook. Because meditation, you can compare it in many ways to having a shower, to having food, and even comparing it with exercise. If you talk about the mind as a muscle to be trained, you need to make sure that you train it every now and then. So you can easily uh, have develop a more resilient and strong mind. And it's also important that you, of course, feed the mind so it is strong. So when we meditate, it's also a way to feed the mind. And when you, yeah, you can also make a comparison with a shower. And even, you can even say that meditation is a sort of deeper rest for the mind. So even in uh, scientific research, they have discovered that it's very important that uh, when we are meditating, there is a certain, the sort of uh, waves in, in, in our brain that are very unique to meditation. And these waves, they indicate a sort of uh, balance <clears throat> between being very relaxed on the one hand and at the same time being mindful. And that's only found in very spiritual practices, especially meditation. So when we talk about the signs of meditation to, to finish this off, uh, to finish this, it's uh, actually, um, it's both in the brain, how your meditation can improve your, your mind, it's both in the brain, but also in the immune system. Even something very concrete like the irritable bowel syndrome, it's, it's improved by meditating. So when we are, this is actually a lot of research that you can easily find on, uh, on the internet. So uh, when you look at the brain structure, science has, been, has proven that when we meditate, we find there is less stress and depression, and there is more memory and self-awareness. The waves that I mentioned earlier, they are called the alpha waves. And there's only even some parts of the brain that have been proven to become thicker when we meditate. So uh, it's, it's kind of like meditation carries over into your daily life and it becomes part of the, the general habit of your mind. Even if you're not doing anything with your mind, like when you are uh, very, uh, waiting in the line for something or not doing anything particularly, then your mind goes to the default mode, then it will also be affected by how you are meditating on a regular basis. So this is what is uh, proven, been proven in scientific research. You can find any of those terms in, in the literature, like default mode network. This has all been proven. So these are some uh, uh, facts and figures that show how meditation in, in, in scientific research is now also more and more being recommended. Uh, so even in the present day, that's why I, I close off in this way. That's why I conclude in this way. We need to be healthy and strong, right? Because uh, there is a lot of uh, concern out there with regard to health and illness. If we want to make sure that we are taking good care of our health, then the best thing we can do, and I still believe that is very important and the most important thing is to meditate. And I still think that if everyone, everyone were to meditate right now for a week, then we would get rid of COVID-19 within a week. But uh, this is uh, not, unfortunately, not the government's policy of most countries. 
but this is how we can look at meditation. So meditation improves the immune system, it creates more antibodies, and some research even have shown that it changes the chromosomes, creates more resistance. So these are some uh, ideas to finish off with. And uh, I think uh, for many of you, you will be interested in meditation anyway. But just to, to look at the research is quite nice when we, we find ourselves in a time when there's, you know, there's a lot of uh, insecurity about health. So I think that's important to, to, to often remind ourselves. So um, i just like to close off for today. And uh, next time I will talk more about visualization and the use of a mantra in meditation. If you are not familiar with those yet, uh, if you are, then I will also cover some details of how you can teach yourself to, to visualize in meditation and to use a mantra in a way that it feels good. And it helps you 